July sales fireworks. Talking progress. Emmy nod. Those are among the top stories this week on the Pentastar. Led by major boosts in sales for the Jeep Wrangler and Ram pickup, Chrysler Group reported an overall 20% jump in vehicle sales in July. Sales of the Jeep Wrangler were up 43%, while its brand mate, the Compass, saw its sales soar 240%. But it was the Ram pickup that hauled home the biggest sales, moving 20,311 units last month. Also seeing a significant sales boost was the Fiat 500 in its first year on the U.S. market, showing a 38% bump in sales from June. Well, the 2011 Fiat 500 is the star of its very first advertising campaign since the brand's return to the North American market. The comprehensive campaign combines broadcast, print, digital, and experiential initiatives while introducing the brand's new tagline, Simply More. Well, the acclaimed Chrysler 200 commercial that aired during the Super Bowl has a chance to add another honor to its growing list. The commercial, titled Born of Fire and featuring Detroit native Eminem, has been nominated for an Emmy Award in the Outstanding Commercial category. The winners will be announced September 18th. The 2011 Dodge Durango is showing up in 30-second advertising campaigns beginning in August that will highlight the idea that the Durango's best-in-class driving range power and towing capacity, seating for seven, and other vehicle refinements deliver the sport in sport utility vehicles. The television advertising campaign was created to show that the Durango is putting vehicle performance back on center stage and to emphasize the SUV is back. One of the ads titled Long Lost Performance demonstrates these ideas perfectly by showing the viewer an abandoned raceway and an announcer lamenting that the era of automotive performance in the SUV segment is gone. Just then, he hears two new Dodge Durangos approaching. He changes his tone, and he proudly closes with a voiceover. American performance, consider yourself redeemed. The Ram 1500 Tradesman was added to Equipment Today magazine's 2011 Contractors Top 50 Products Award list. I can't imagine a better truck for hard-working professional contractors than the Ram 1500 Tradesman. It is specifically designed to meet the critical needs of construction job sites and is engineered for maximum productivity, said Fred Diaz, president and CEO of Ram Truck Brand and Chrysler de Mexico. Equipment Today's 2011 Contractors Top 50 products will be featured in a special section of the September issue of the magazine and on ForConstructionPros.com. And speaking of the annual Center for Automotive Research Auto Industry Conference in Traverse City, Michigan, Chrysler Group CEO Sergio Marchionne said the tone of dialogue and the just-started contract negotiations with the UAW have been, quote, very productive. He also spoke out about the progress Chrysler has made since partnering with Fiat in June 2009. In just 19 months, we present a 16 all-new or significantly refreshed products to the market. We have undertaken what I consider to be an incredibly profound transformation of our, organ of our organization by introducing a new culture which is based on meritocracy and on accountability. And this transformation goes all the way to the manufacturing plant floor where our processes are designed to free up employees to use their abilities and experience to eliminate waste, all kinds of waste. The people that work at Chrysler today have acquired the courage to strive for greatness. They have embraced the challenge of competition. It is a notion that they cherish and that they nurture. And it is a mindset that is finally producing results. On May 24th, we paid back with interest all the loans to, that were given to us by the US and the Canadian governments some six years ahead of schedule. We are now achieving consistent, solid share gains in all of our markets driven by consumer ac acceptance of our rejuvenated product portfolio. And last week, we announced our second quarter results, which show a continued improvement in our operational and our financial performance. And those are among the top stories this week under the Pedestar. For Chrysler Electronic Communication, I'm Ed Garston reporting.